All right, everyone, if you watch some of the other videos, everything on our lantern is ready to go now, except filling it and letting it soak and charring the wick. We've done all, we've assembled it, we've gone through and shown how to change a wick. We've got our chimney assembly put together with the mantle burn, and we've got it over here so we don't break it. But Aladdin recommends that before you actually just light your lantern right up, it requires a little bit of a carbon layer on top of the wick for it to burn at its, at its top potential. And the easiest way to do this is when your lantern is empty. When your lantern's empty, it's easy to work with. Now, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need your lantern with a new wick or your wick, a little small bowl, your Aladdin fuel or your K1 kerosene, and uh, put a little bit of that in the bottom of the bowl, and then you're going to need a match. So what we're going to do is our wick is dry. So we're actually going to char the wick. We want to burn the wick until it runs out of fuel, and then we want it to char. So you can leave everything together, or you can take the top off if you want to. You can take off your burner, but I've already got mine screwed together and tight, so I'm going to leave it together. What you want to do is we want to turn the wick up, so I'm going to turn to the right, which is towards me now. I'm going to turn it to the right till the wick is up. And I'm going to dip just a little bit of the wick into our fuel that we have in our little thing here. So I'm gonna, my lantern's empty, so this may look a little funny, but I'm going to turn it upside down. And if it'll reach, I'm going to just barely touch it. Now, I just touched it, but let's give it a little bit more than that. You can see it just the capillary action of the cotton wicks it right up. All right, so I wicked up a little bit, but I did I nowhere near soaked up the whole bowl. I mean, not at all. So we'll set the bowl over to the side. And now our wick should have kerosene fuel in the top of it, but we're going to go for a charred layer. So let's get a view of what the wick looks like before I burn it here. I'll bring it to you. So this is before we burn it. I'll look through the viewfinder. This is what it looks like before we burn it. You can see it's got a nice white color or a uh, red color to it right there. All right, so first off, we're going to turn it way back down. So let's turn it to the left and turn it way down. We only need maybe a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch showing. I've done this on a regular lanterns a lot, too, to get a good burn. Our wick looks good. It's a little frazzled. And now you're going to need a match. Here's our match. Now I'm going to light my wick in a full circle and try and get as much of it to burn as I can. It may be hard to light, but the point is to try and get a char all the way around. Now you can see it burn. I'll, turn, I'll blow this out. There it goes. Now, this could burn for a couple minutes. I'm breathing on it. I'll move it closer to you. There's no wind in this room except for my hot air, so you can see it burning and it should flare out here in a minute. But what this is going to do is it's going to give us a nice little black charred area at the top without having to uh, wait on the mantle to do that or to do it when we have it full of fuel. So I'll just give it a second here and we'll see if it burns out. And if not, I'll turn off the camera because now you know exactly what it's going to do. It looks like it's burning nice and even and everything. Alright, so I'm going to turn off the camera, and our next step is going to be to fill our lantern and to give it several minutes or more so that it can have full capillary action of the wick. So, now that this is done, our next thing to do is to fill our lantern and do our final assembly. Thanks so much. Stay tuned. Check out some of the other videos. I'm having a blast. Hope you guys are too. What